up fuckers, we're out here in Azusa Canyon. I'm hyped up, I'm sure you can tell, I'm sure a lot of you are super annoyed, but I'm gonna tell you what the title sponsor of the YouTube channel is this year, and I'm pumped, because I've known what it is for a while and I couldn't tell you. Nick, come here, let's show them what it is. Come on, look at this, baby. Dunlop, Q4s, look at my chicken shrimp, because I suck and I'm scared in the canyons. But my goal is to get everybody on this channel running Dunlops. I'm gonna come to a mountain near you, give you a set of Q4s, so let us know what road you want us to come to, and we're gonna come out to you and possibly give you, yeah you, a set of Q4s. Now let's go fucking ride. All right, what's up fuckers? We're up here in Azusa. I did a couple, couple runs just to check the camera angle, but right now we're gonna go back and forth on some of these turns so that Nick can get some video. Basically, this is gonna be a lot like the uh, XSR 700 video that we did over in Mohol. We're not gonna get the entire road, but we're just gonna get some cool shots. We'll have some moto vlog footage to put in here. We'll just have some fun. Good slide spot. I'm gonna try to wheelie into it. <laughs> I hope that was sick because it felt pretty cool. Are you scared? I was fucking scared. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Tell them what happened. Dude, so we're standing in the middle of the road, trying to get a flyby. We you were standing in the middle of the road. <laughs> but we got After I said I was a little sketchy, we shouldn't do it. <laughs> I even asked just like, But there is I nobody out here. I know, there is nobody out here. <laughs> but I'm standing in the middle of the road, waiting for Josh to come around the corner. And we probably already filmed this twice, right? Two times? Yeah, uh, twice. No comment. Once or twice, yeah. <laughs> Um, and then I'm filming him as he's coming up, and I turn around, and there's a cop coming up at the same time, and I'm standing in the middle of the road. <laughs> I, my f***ing heart sank, dude. And I, I'm behind the camera, Josh flies by, and I see him, I'm like, f -f 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 I literally just, like, happened to look back and see him, and I'm like, okay, just, what is it? Don't be suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be suspicious. That's all that was going through my head. And I'm like, I'm acting like the squiddish bike rider ever. Like, not leaning over, just like looking scared to lean and everything. And I'm like, looking at my mirrors, I don't see him. I'm like, this guy's going to come flying up on me any second. I get to a turnout like a mile down the road. I turn around. I had turned my GoPro off because I didn't want him to like see me recording and then want to look at it or something so I turn it off. I, I literally, the moment I turned around, as he passed by, I was like, he's lighting him up for sure. Oh. He, didn't, he didn't even chase after you. I was like, like you said, it must have been perfect timing. The moment that he came around the corner, you were already gone. Oh, oh man. my god. That's sick.
Nick wants another one. Another one! Alright, here you go. Hopefully it's good. Does it look sick? Did you <laughs> Alright, you wanna go up? You think it was good? I think it was great. Like do you think that's our drift shot? All right, guys, you saw my terrible setup that I had before for my GoPro chin mount. Now we're set up with this awesome company, chinmounts.com. If you use my discount code, Heron10, when you check out, you get 10% off. These things are custom fitted for each helmet. So this thing mounts, if I can get it right, perfectly to my Arai Corsair X, but they make them for every helmet. It's perfect for track footage, perfect for riding at, out on the road, and perfect when you wanna go back home in the bedroom and get that POV footage. Let's go, use my discount code, Heron10. <laughs> Say it. Give me a fresh and lean ad. You want to feel fresh and clean? You need some fresh and lean. <laughs> I like how we both did this. Alright guys. So we just got done filming with Nick. I'm going to head down the mountain right now. I'm not going to do anything crazy because we saw a lot of cops today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to do, like I said, a little bit of talking right now, so stick around. We're not done, but we are heading back down the mountain, which is my least favorite part of riding. I really enjoy going up the mountain. I hate going down. I don't like riding downhill. I don't like the way the bike feels when I ride downhill. It may be weird to some of you. Maybe not. Let me know what you think. Do you like riding up or down? Like I said, I'm not shredding right now, so don't judge me. I see a lot of people that shred on this hill mountain whatever you want to call it but i just want to let you know kind of the direction that we're gonna that we plan on taking this channel so yes for those of you who don't know i'm a professional motorcycle racer most of you that are watching this know that previously we have made this channel more about track stuff we've we've had some street stuff but it's been mostly about track stuff i think what we're going to do is try and focus this channel a lot more on the street content especially in the off season and then make the race content kind of like bonus footage. We only race 10 times a year, so it's impossible to get all, enough footage for the entire year. So we're mainly gonna be focusing on when we're at home and uh, yeah, doing a lot of footage like this. I would love to go to different mountains, different roads, ride your guys' local stuff. So make sure you leave a comment below and let me know where you'd like us to go. It's obviously hard to get on the East Coast, but if we can, man, I just downshifted for a flat out corner right there. I do not know this road. Um, you know, if we can, I'd love to go out to the East Coast. I want to do the Dragon. I want to do some stuff up near New York because that's where, uh, you know, our team sponsor is Ducati New York and Warhorse Ducati. But obviously a lot of our riding is going to be based on the West Coast. 
but my goal is to have fun. That's my number one goal. I'm going to try to steer away from the car stuff, okay? I'm not going to be doing a bunch of wheelies in and out of traffic. I'm going to try to be a little bit more respectful. Some people have sent me some stories, and I want to be respectful. Um, so I'm going to do my best. I'm going to have fun. Like I said, I'm not... I'm definitely not going to be riding around like a little a little puss because I don't have fun doing that. And this channel is just about doing what I love to do. It's not about making you happy, but you know, some people opened my, my mind up a little bit and made me think about things. Um, so I'm going to be having fun and I just, I hope that you guys enjoyed the footage that I put out uh, as much as I do. Uh, Nick and I, like I said, just try to have a lot of fun and that's the goal of this channel, that's the goal of 2022 is to have fun and not be so stressed out at the races and part of that is enjoying riding bikes on the street because around 2017 I started riding on the street a lot we did the momentum video with with Lanky and with a day on Nick's channel on Lanky's channel and it did really well it got almost two million views on YouTube and got a ton of views on social media and, and that was like when I started experimenting with riding on the street that was one of the first times I really did it that's why I had leathers on and a lot of people loved seeing me rip around the canyons in leathers, like a pro racer riding on the street with race leathers on. And that's kind of what I wanted to do. I, like, I had fun doing that. That video was so fun to me. I need to get away from this traffic, and I kind of want to see what this bridge looks like anyway. So let's go this way. Do a little wheelie here. So that's like the focus of this. Riding on the street is new to me. I've been racing motorcycles professionally for 17 years now. So I have so much racing experience and so little street experience, but it honestly is so fun to me, especially now that I have like the Cardo set up in my helmet and can just have fun listening to music, talking to my buddies while I'm riding and we're doing the moto vlog stuff now. It's just, it's fun to me and it's a whole new world. It's a whole new place for us to advertise Moto America. A lot of people don't know that I race motorcycles professionally. The series we race in is called Moto America. Look it up. It's awesome racing. We're going over 200 miles an hour on, on these bikes. And it's so fun to watch. So I want to open the racing world up to everybody and show them what we do. It's all so relatable to what you guys do. I'm riding on the street. I'm new to it. I don't consider myself to be that good at it. There's guys that smoke me in the canyon. But I love doing it. And I'm getting better. I'm, I'm learning about stuff. You know, I, I, I just, I enjoy it a lot and I really hope that you guys do. I hope that you follow the channel and, and you just, and we have a good time together. I just want you guys to smile when you watch these videos and yeah, just bring out your inner child, I guess. <laughs> I was talking to my wife, Rachel, and I told her like, when I'm riding on a motorcycle, it's like when I'm at home talking to Griffin, my son. I got a six month old son. And when I ride my motorcycle on the street, even on the track, but on the street a lot of times, and I'm talking to the camera, I feel like I talk to the camera like I talk to my kid. I'm excited. I'm having fun. And I want to see more of that. So I, that's why I do these motor vlogs to have fun, make you guys smile. So thank you for watching. Go support us on the Patreon if you really like the content. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.